Alright guys, so even though I'm doing legs today, it is still going to be therapeutic, right? So here is a unilateral leg extension and I am glad that where I am, which is at TV Health and Fitness Center, um, that they actually have this machine. So because my left leg is the one that has the injured ankle and we're still in recovery because my foot was in a cast and um, I was a submission for so long it affected my knee and it generates um, total weakness in the leg. So I am going to be doing this unilateral um, leg extension and I realized they had a pretty weight on the side so I custom to the pin. So I'm going to get two small plates so I'm starting off with a five pong on either side mainly focusing on the left leg so we're gonna see how it um that left leg ex accepts this leg extension when you're doing leg extension you want to make sure you flex your toes towards the ceiling so that it contracts the quad muscle as you lift or extend the leg so that's probably about 10 repetitions it feels um more or less okay but i do have some cracking in my knee my right leg is obviously stronger than my left leg at this point in time and generally has always been so doing 10 12 15 reps is going to be fine on this leg but we're going to do it anyhow just to maintain a balance in terms of um working the leg one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so 
since I was able to do the five pound um, plates on the left leg and that was more or less okay I'm going to add the five on the right hand side to the left side just to make it ten and we're going again for another ten repetitions one two three you would realize in a lot of my videos that I like to do static hold um and almost anything or what you might call pause reps so you would notice that while i was lifting i would do one two and not just well let's not do it with a stick since i don't have any weight on it i wouldn't just be going up down like that fast type of tempo i like to actually contract the muscle and put that bind and muscle connection together which is actually something that I am rebuilding where the left leg is concerned since putting the cast on a sprained ankle was something that should not have been done so like I said in a previous video that the brain actually cut off any sort of activity where the leg is concerned because it's been it was inactive for quite some time he wasn't having any contraction of the muscle any use of the leg at all whatsoever because it was in a cast and i was on crutches couldn't put down the foot either so we are now working on that uh reconnection yeah so we're going to go again for another set two three four five six so we're doing it a little faster this time eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen just because i'm looking for that being fourteen and fifteen right there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen do one more set of this uh, mind you this is really light um another reason for doing unilateral exercises not just with your legs but in general whether you're just doing with your hands or so is to see which side of your body is stronger which side tends to be dominant which side tends to be pulling a lot more of the weight sometimes you'll be doing bicep curls and you're curling um whatever type of bar the barbell the easy curl bar whatever and you're curling and so i am going to be doing leg press right now i am going to be focusing on once again um single leg or unilateral leg press where i might have not noticed if they have a unilateral leg press but if they do i'm definitely going to try it out anyhow just for so um but i'm going to do this i am stronger doing um, more weight than this obviously with the both legs but since i'm doing individual legs today i am going to do only 25 pounds on a side so let's go let's see if it is my foot can handle this i am going to do the right leg first i'm expecting that it's going to be extremely weak but you girl don't back down right Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. 
I felt like the whole workout. One, two. Obviously, you can notice the difference in the way this weight is moving. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you definitely know that um the right the left leg is a lot weaker than the right leg like that's expected right so remember the majority of the weight on this leg press is pushing there from the ankle like that's the first area of impact where this platform is being placed well apart from the direct sole of your feet right so my my ankle is very tender um, still have a lot of pain just simply while I'm walking around so it's expected right I'm now really getting into therapy so a lot of things are going to be brand new for the foot again so we're going to do another set the knee is definitely feeling that. One, two, three. Nine. My knee's feeling it because it's sore and sore from just picture never using your body before and you're now going to do something it's like the wiping cobweb off of it and now learning to recognize a particular range of motion so that's how best i can explain how my left knee is feeling um and in the process of recovery you need to be taking you know your necessary multivitamins etc i know people who have done um vitamin shots and so forth to help with recovery for the overall body recovery or particularly in an area that was injured so for instance i did um provision shots i know i also had a torn meniscus or something last year so depending on the severity of someone's situation like that you could do prp well obviously those things will be better um recommended by your sports therapist or your general practitioner etc preferably a sports therapist or physiotherapist somebody who into sports if you're into sports are not a general practitioner because going to a general practitioner for almost anything is as they are called a general practitioner so a general practitioner is not an eye specialist so if you have a problem with your eye there's only so much they can tell you about it but they're supposed to then refer you to an eye specialist same thing as an athlete who have injuries they will quicker tell you here what's straight from the gym don't do this don't do that and before you know it the area gets worse because you're not using it it seizes up it locks up mind and muscle is gone mind and muscle connection is gone so then you're supposed to be going to a physiotherapist sports therapist these sort of people who are um privy to these sort of things on a regular basis to better assess your situation and advise you accordingly right so we're going to go to our third set and then after doing left and right on the third set i'm going to do my last two sets my third and my fourth set doing left and right leg unilaterally and then doing the both of them together One. Nine. Ten. Make sure to be careful and not let your knees knock in. One, two, three, 
Right, so I'm going to do this exact same thing for my fourth and final set here on the leg press. Um, so we already did it. Okay, so I'm on to my next leg exercise. Um, no lunges, probably not as yet. Um, this is a form of hack squat and uh, I am going to attempt it to see if my ankle um, can do that range of motion because I don't have much flexion in the ankle. So, starting off light. I'm going to do slightly outside of the range and we are going down. Yep. I like it. I think that's 15. So that definitely hit my quads the way I would like it to. Um, it does not hit my tailbone as a sum hot squats do based on the range of motion some of them the platform is either almost 100 percent flat to the ground um or some are uh, between this this range of motion and flat to the ground uh and those two especially the one in the middle really hits my tailbone because obviously now as the platform is further away you have to go a lot deeper and a lot deeper sometimes you'll find your um your tailbone or your hips are lifting off of the support system here and that's it really making so we don't want that i have not noticed that um here at the moment because i'm just basically in um one little area i didn't go venturing as yet before i started my workout so we're gonna stick to this in the meantime we don't want any more injuries even though my ankle injury is not from the gym um we don't want to put any pressure there on the ankle i don't have any pressure on the knees no pressure on my back i'm fine this is great nonetheless i am going to stick with the 10 pound plates that i have on and do that for the next uh three maybe four more reps so then that would have meant that i would have done five sets of the total Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. <laughs> I feel great. I am feeling my quads. You know, you now shrug the match. The heat now starting to build. Yeah, I'm feeling it. It feels good. Yeah. Um, generally, I keep my rest period short to keep my workout even more intense. You don't want to rest to the point where you are getting cold and every time it seems like you're starting over. I mean, everything has its advantage um, depending on what you are training for. Everything will have its purpose. For me, I just want to keep it short and intense 
this also works well for people who are depressed for time. Um, they just come to do X amount of exercises for a particular body part and they don't have that time to waste. Generally, you shouldn't have time to waste if it is in a gym and you have a goal. So, you get in your set, you keep the intensity really high, and you're out. You felt like, yeah, I spent an hour, hour and a half in the gym, but it might have just been 45 minutes, right? So, please set. Careful not to close your knees. But because of the range of motion, you're basically killing two birds at one stone. So I'm definitely feeling this. Um, in All right, so um, see these hip dips I have here? This is from my category of body fitness. So I am going to see if I can get rid of those dips because first time ever I'm realizing how much it's bothering me, especially with how I stand. See? So we are going to do some maybe this is too heavy, but we will see. There are a couple other variations you can do of this exercise, but this is the one I'm going to be doing right now. So I'm going to do four sets of ten and wrap up this workout with some abdominal exercises. The ankle is hitting me somewhat so I'm not going to push to do um, calves today. I can feel the muscle developing from deep within my soul. <laughs> Hello. Call out the New York City. So, even though I'm a lot smaller, I'm going to finish those next two sets off camera. But even though I'm a lot smaller now, this was my general cut 
for my category body fitness like still saying a little something I am so sore because yesterday last night I did back and shoulders and um, I felt like it's the first time in forever I have done any kind of workout so I am sore down to the bone but nonetheless you know starting back is always the issue even though I had been training for a little while maybe a month or or so but when you are just running for a workout as compared to actually training with a purpose that's two completely different things and so last night I was like you know what heads up to my ears me pull out my workout program and get cracking and then this morning actually before I even left the gym I was like damn this starting back is a bitch but when you see the results you have no complaints you know so um yeah that's that so you guys stay tuned to um all my upcoming workout training sessions concerning me getting back on stage come 2025 um we have a lot of things in store for the rest of this year 2024 so not just in terms of training but a lot of other things that I'm going to have you guys um, involved in. So stay tuned. Okay, so even though I said that I was just going to wrap up with doing the um, uh, the outer ties, I ended up doing some abdominal exercises as well as the top of my glutes by doing um, back extension which I had not done in a really long time and is really good for posture as well and um, I did some abdominal machine crunches some um, cable abdominal crunches as well as some elevated bench uh, lower leg lifts so that is finally a wrap for today's workout yeah <laughs> 